All right, this is just a quick video on how to print uh, these triangle tessellations for your origami or folding projects. So the first thing you're going to do before you even get to a pattern that you like, you really should uh, make these changes first because if you don't um, and you find a pattern you like, you can go ahead and make the changes to make it fit and now your pattern is going to be different, at least if it's, a, if it's a random pattern. Some of the patterns aren't random, for example, light gray is just light gray. Uh, but something like random or uh, red random, green random, red gray, uh, these are all different. So what you want to do, let me get it back to random, is you want to make your settings uh, kind of where you want them to begin with. So we're going to make the triangles 40, we're going to make the spacing, let's try 3, I like that. And now what you want to do is kind of estimate, alright, well that's taking up maybe a quarter of the page, so let's multiply that by 4. Whoops, wrong thing, I'm sorry, we're going to multiply that by 4. And good, it does read from left to right. And then the rows go down pretty far because we changed um, the rows to 80. We're just going to move that up to 100 just to be safe. And that's it. So now you can just keep reloading the page until you get a uh, pattern that you're happy with. And then what you're going to do, it's, it's different from operating system to operating system, and it's different from browser to browser. On this, I'm using a Mac, and I'm using Chrome. Um, in the Macintosh environment, generally, uh, Apple P uh, will open up the print dialog. And in Chrome in particular, you can choose um, to, and I think this is true of all browsers, you can choose not only to print to a printer, but you can also print to PDF. And we're going to tell it to simply do page 2, because we don't want all this junk that we have on the screen here. We don't want that in our final image. So we're going to choose page 2. And what we're looking for is to make sure that the... Uh, triangles go from the top all the way to the bottom and from the left to the right and the margins you might want to set to none if that option is available and go ahead and print and it's going to ask us where we want to put it uh, we'll just call it triangles and we'll save it to our desktop and now that that's done we can go over to our triangles document and of course we could have printed this directly in Chrome but this allows us to uh, actually save the pattern as we want it and make this a bit smaller to be able to see the entire thing and there you go.